so we've still got loads of jobs on the list to do, but for me, most of it is fabric and furnishings, which is the part I really love, because it means it's coming all together. But um, I, I put these curtains up the other day because me and Ted slept in here the other night when my daughter was here, just to uh, cover the, the light up coming in in the mornings. But um, these aren't the curtains that are gonna be here. So I need to make curtains for both these windows. I then need to make the bed panels and the curtains that are gonna come down by the side of the bed. I need to make all the bed covers. So um, yeah, lots of furnishings to do. I'll take you and show you the fabric that I've chosen. I'm doing my fabric in apartment two because I've got a, a large floor space in here and it's the cleanest room in the house. So, um, so let's uh, give you a little preview of the fabric. So I've chosen this fabric here. It's a really lovely kind of allure fabric. This is going to be the accent fabric um, that I'm going to do in some panelling on the bed canopy. Um, and this will become also a throw for the bed and tie backs, etc. But it's got some really lovely greens, some browns, beiges, sort of peachy colours. Really, really love this. Um, so what I've done is for the curtains, picked out the green in it. And this is my big, huge bag of green fabric. So, um, yeah, really lovely. Really heavy, lovely fabric for curtains. So I'm going to crack on with that today and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have at least the curtains made anyway and um, maybe some bed spreads, I don't know, we'll see how we get on but I need to uh, spread myself out in here, get my sewing machine out and uh, get working. Now I brought 10 metres of this fabric so I'm just hoping that's going to be enough. But the worst thing is when you're working with such large pieces of fabric, and although it's 10 metres in length, this is actually double width. So um, it's trying to have space to be able to measure everything and uh, spread it all out. Okay, I learned a really good technique in the fabric shop over here. Most of you will probably say, oh yes, I knew that. I didn't, and I think it's absolutely fabulous, that to get a really straight line um, on your fabrics, if you just make a snip in the edge and pull one of the threads and just pull it along and it will give you your line of where you're supposed to cut. I think that's amazing. I didn't know that you could do that. And so this is such a large, large piece of fabric. So that will give me a straight line all the way through. And then once I've got my line, I can just snip it. Okay, one curtain cut. So what I'm actually doing with the curtains in two is very different to the curtains I did here in one. Here in one we've got the pelmet with the curtains hidden behind it and on the rail. But in two I'm going to use the eyelets because I really love the stonework behind the curtains and I really don't want to cover any of that up. Normally I don't like these type of curtains with just the eyelets and seeing the pole. But in there I just feel we need to see as much of the stone as possible, so I just don't want to cover any of it up. So that's why we're using the eyelets. But I've never used these before, and I've never made curtains with these in them. It looks pretty simple, she says. So I'm going to give it a go and, um, yeah, see what happens. with the top because their floors are so unlevel um, to do the bottom hem I will need to fit the curtains and then do it to the bottom so that it matches the level of the floor because um, it goes like that so that'll be a bit fiddly but all I've done at the moment is done the top hem um, and it's just one inch at the top I'm then going to measure and fold over 
10 centimeters for my eyelets to go in. So it's got a nice heavy weight at the top. And then my eyelets will go in there. So I just need 10 centimeters. So because I want it 10 centimeters, I'm measuring 20 centimeters, I will then fold that to the 20 centimeter line. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I've done my hem at the top, my double hem, and I haven't hemmed the side yet because I'm not sure if I want these curtains to have a lining or not. That it's really thick, heavy material, so I don't think it necessarily needs a lining. Um, normally I would because I love linings in materials, it makes it look very, very voluptuous, but um, I don't think this one needs it. So what I'm going to do is leave the hems, I'm going to hang them once I've got my eyelets in it to see how they drop and then decide. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to make my allowance, so I'm doing three inches in which will be my hem allowance on the sides. And then I need to do my seven centimetres in, which is where the centre of my first eyelet is going to go. And I've got a 10 centimetre hem, so five centimetres is the centre. So that's my centre point. Then take my eyelet, eyeball it central. Hello, baby. Hello, darling. What are you up to? I don't know. Uh, I'm just uh, filling holes and painting Filling holes and painting. Old. With, uh, yeah. Doing my, uh, so all that banging you can hear in the background is teddy bear. It's me, it's me. Yes, filling the, the panelling, the screws, uh, plugging the screw holes for the panelling, plugging the screw holes for the um, board where the door rail will go into. And now it's a case of making the architrave and then fitting the door. God. A lot of work. Yeah. Do you think you'll get it done before the end of the day? Yeah. I know. Do you think you'll get it done by the end of the day? Um, I sincerely hope so. That would make me happy if I can get it done as we've had unscheduled stops. Yes. Okay, baby. I'll come and see how you're doing in a little while. So that's their teddy bear hard at work. Um, okay. Poor old Ted. He's got, he's, he's, he's got an awful lot of... Um, would work to try and get done and um, it takes a long time especially in a house like this when you've got so many levels um, uneven levels uh, right so I've done my circle I want to cut it obviously a bit shy of that because it needs to oh, fit inside of that without the fabric showing scissors so basically I think everyone knows how to cut a circle fold it over Oh, yeah. Woohoo! We have our first eyelid. Look at that. Well, wow, wasn't that easy? Oh my god, why have I never done eyelet curtains before? That's cool. Now I have to say, I haven't quite done that central, so I don't know what happened to be measuring on that one. Um, so I'm going to have to make sure I do them all the same. Oh, oh that's why, because I did it on the back. Okay, that's good. I'm pleased with that. My first eyelet cut. That's good. Right, okay. Let's just get the rest of them right now. Fold it over. Yes. Okay, so I finished the first curtain. I've got the header on and I'm just gonna go and hang it up and see what it looks like up. See whether I think it needs any lining material. So let's go take a look. So you join us today on a very moment again. Um, we have lots of momentous occasions. Hang on a minute, I'm going to shut the door. Um, 
because there is a gentleman here by the name of Mr. Harris who's uh, putting our Wi Fi in. Morning. I'm back Morning. to my old job that I used to do in the UK. Yes. I run my own data cabling business, including installing Wi Fi, which I'm doing for Ted and Lisa today. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. And so what we're going to do is, we get, so this all goes up into the loft. A little ballon cupboard that I made is also going to contain the nerve centre of our communications network, um, which is um, a little bit over the top. It's a, it's a box with a load of cable coming out of it. Um, look at the state of me. I look like I've just got up, don't I? Cat right. weasel again. I'm, Cat I'm weasel. Gonna, look at that. I'm going to install this then. And you oh, charge oh. 500 an hour for that? Nero. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there you go, we've got pretty disco lights. So that right. now... Just wait for Wi-Fi to come on line. When the middle light comes on, we've got Wi-Fi. Why is it orange? Why is there an orange light? Is that just power. the... That's the power it's just light. power. All oh, right. So that green light is now syncing up with the switch upstairs and the router downstairs. There you go, Wi-Fi. We have Wi-Fi. So what this means is that each room will have its own effectively net, effective network. So anybody coming into the room using the Wi-Fi has their own password. It's a secure setup. So if you came in here and you were working or, um, you know, you just wanted to, you know, you, you just wanted to watch your Netflix or whatever like that, you can have your own individual um, set up so you because it is so difficult to get signal through two foot thick walls. So, thank you very much, Mr. Harris. You're very welcome. And what are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to build an ancient wardrobe. <laughs> so, we've gone from data cabling at 500 an hour to wardrobe building that's going to be a thousand an hour. I well, say. I was thinking of more like two bob <laughs> 16 shillings and sixpence, and we'll call it a day, shall we? <laughs> Candid camera. Candid camera. Okay, good old Steve's back over today to help us. Morning. Morning, Steve. Steve's been doing the data cabling today, but more importantly, oh, what? We've got the data cabling up there on the wall. We've done a little cool. piece. We've done a little piece for you to integrate Thank into you your much. main event. Thank you. But the main event that's happening today is we need a wardrobe in this room, and this old wardrobe is what we found <coughs> in, this, in room. this room in pieces so your task for today ted and steve is to try and put this wardrobe together and see if we have all the pieces and whether it's stable enough to be used i think i need it at home do you accept the challenge <laughs> i'm sure i've got something else to do no oh, yeah that's yeah. it <laughs> i was going to cut my grass with nail scissors. <laughs> so, walk up, walk up my glass. <laughs> glass of the table saw. Yeah. Where are you going to try and put this up? Well, we thought we'd put it over there because then we're very close to where it needs to go. Okay. Uh, which, you know, that's... where's it going? There? No, there. Is it, is it white? Is we it don't really know. <laughs> well, you're going to know what it is until you build it. I think, yeah. If you build it. If you build it, it look. <laughs> Well, we think well, it's wide enough. We think because, well, I don't know. It's really, you've got two sides behind We it. never really checked whether it's wide We've enough. We never checked anything <laughs> about it. You know, that's the thing. So we haven't really looked at it. Know. We literally. The doors are. The doors are. The doors are. The doors Not by a country mile. Silly. Right. Well, you can get the sides of that. Yeah, the sides are this thick. I know. A bit worry. Why don't but we could do what you said? Oh, that's the steel, the outside of the steel. To the outside of the hinge. It's outside of it, yeah. Yeah, outside the hinge as well. I'm probably a centimetre outside the hinge. Yeah, so if we, if you hold them doors a bit. Yeah, I've got some. So what are you thinking of doing then? 
well, potentially, instead of building the old ancient wardrobe, just stud the wall out. Frame, yeah, we got, frame. We got, we got plenty of that room. Will that work? Stud the wall out and effectively just use those as the door and, and then and, and, and the top we'll just use the molding from the top to can you just use on. the sides so you've still got the hinges all that go on and then what, just do a the, new top as, bottom and as middle as side, so, so yeah. if, I, if i cut effectively you make a framework but use the sides so you'd have the side here but then you'd still have the back you wouldn't have so after a lot of head scratching, measuring, trying to come up with some solution, we decided it was not worth destroying an ancient wardrobe just to try and get it to fit in the gap. We would use it somewhere else in the chateau. We'd have to go out to the Brocon and find another ancient wardrobe. We had to get the wardrobe that we bought recently from Maximums up the stairs into the apartment three. The trouble was, is it wasn't going up the stairs. It's quite big, it's quite, it's about a metre wide by two metres tall. The top comes off great, door comes off great, makes it a bit lighter. However, it still won't go. So, um, we had to get it through that window. So I had Hugh and Michael come down just now. Um, he brought the tractor um, and I did a tiny little bit of footage. Obviously I was a bit busy. There's all this just to get a bloody wardrobe in. I will put something down, yeah. All this just to get a bleeding wardrobe in. Three. Right. Then we struggled through here and went up the stairs and back in to apartment three. And it's obviously doesn't have its top on yet, but there it is. And that's all in. The top's got to go on, and then I've got to level it at the bottom because it obviously leans forward, and I'm going to secure it to the wall. So, but I think it looks really, really lovely. It's not as ornate as the one downstairs, but a good price. It's in good condition. A um, few little bits missing, a few little bits of architrave missing, but Mikey said that he's got one uh, that I can probably nick bits off to make that look nice but i think it's absolutely brilliant in here it's absolutely perfect for the room and you've got that stunning mirror which is what you want when you're staying away so you can look your best let's get ready for the rest of the day how's it all come along baby it's never an easy job is it oh you're doing the light yeah cool I think this light's going to look superb. So what are you doing now? I'm it all down before I paint it. So it just fits, these are quite tight in there because they're all rusted. So I'm just taking the rust off them and then I'm going to put them, probably put them back in. I just don't want to put them back in and, and not be able to wire them up. The wires go in and over the top, and I don't want to sort of stick them all in there and then find it's that absolute key to try and get all the wires in. But I thought I'd rust, you know, these are a lot of these, you see, it's terribly rusty. And uh, I thought these are the caps that go in here, and those go in there, you know, sort of, you don't want to stick them in there because they'll. Again, they'll stuck, stick. And then uh, there are these, and then we've got new ones of these. I don't know. I can't think where they've gone now. <coughs> we've got a new order of ones of those. And my only thought is that whether they, hopefully, they fit on those little screws caps there. So with a lot of cleaning, some spray painting, and some rewiring, the light looks fantastic. And it was just a very cheap buy from the Brocante. But there are a lot more jobs on the list to get done. Last piece of the puzzle for this wall then. Yeah, sure. But whether to, <coughs> whether to scribe or not to scribe, that is the question. 
Um, I've done a little bit and uh, you push it in and I'm not I'm not averse to a little gap, yeah. And I want to cover that gap, that, yeah. Well, yeah. I know I want to cover the framework, so that's the thing. So that covers the framework. I've got to cut a little bit more out of here because I don't want to do it now. But um, I don't, I'm not averse to, once it's coloured, you know, you'll hardly notice it. Yeah. I, you know, I could spend, that's half a day's work trying to scribe that yeah. in perfectly. I've done the skirting board as good as I can do it, and all the skirting board's ready to go on in. Brilliant. And that's all scribed in, because that adds a bit, really. not it? Just come here, baby. What? You've been up the chimney. <laughs> I've been working. You're like a chimney sweep. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked in the mirror all day, darling. <laughs> and it is now quarter past eight, and I've been at it for 11 hours plus. Are you going to come down and have some dinner now? Yeah, I think I might, and I might have a pig's ear as well. And as you'll see in the next clip, Ted couldn't help himself. He had to scribe that piece of wood in. It had to be perfection. So Ted has now finished the little uh, ledge. She says little ledge. Is it just <laughs> insignificant? A mere trifle. Yeah. A mere trifle. So, so um, with a lovely little... Uh, at least on the end there just to cover everything up it looks really nice actually really finishes it off so i'm really pleased with that and the plug sockets that are embedded in there you can't even hardly see so i'm really really chuffed with that i think it looks beautiful i think that whole wall looks absolutely stunning and once the pictures goes up it'll be beautiful so for the next job on the list we needed to recruit steve's help once again you alright? Yeah. Steve said the next chateau we buy, can we make it a bungalow? Off, baby. Don't need them on, do you? Off. Yeah. Okay, baby. Look at this, look. This out of hole here. Yeah. This causes so much grief if you normally cut them out with a jigsaw, yeah? But if you want a 50 pence piece shaped hole, the jigsaw is perfect. <laughs> but this here, I bought many, many months ago. Well, I think even when I was in England, I bought a, no, I didn't actually, it was here. Because I, I bought a, a circle cutting jig for me, for round. And because he's here, we sussed out how it worked. Because I didn't really know how it worked. We sussed it out and it's cut an absolutely perfect circle. circle, which is perfect for the sink. And it even goes in with the waist. Can you fit in it? <laughs> I'm in the circle of love. <laughs> right, quickly. With me, mate. Quickly. <laughs> is this just, well, this is like the, the. I tell you what, I am getting worried about you too. <laughs> the fox is in it, mate. The fox is this is a circle of truth, mate. <laughs> or a circle yeah. of trust. Yeah. <laughs> Don't step I'm out of the circle of trust. <laughs> um, quickly, bolt it down and. Put something in there, be there forever. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> so, where's, where's my lunch? <laughs> so whilst I left Ted and Steve continuing to fit the kitchen, it was time for me to put the finishing touches to the fabrics. Okay, so the first bedspread is made. Just hope it fits now. Uh, which way up? This way up. Pillars and the other accent pillars. 
Um, yeah, I think it's always good to have loads of pillars, so I might go and make some pillars. But don't forget, it's also going to have the drapes coming down either side and behind the green drape, so it's going to look a lot more lavish. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. Great. Lovely. So with the bedspread, pillows and all the curtains done, it was just time to do the finishing touches with the tie backs. And then on to another little project I found. Okay, so now I've finished all of the fabrics I could do for now. I've still got some that I need to do, but um, that's once Ted's put the canapes up um, on top of the bed, the crowns, if you like. So my job at the moment is to try and search around the property for different pieces of furniture that we can put in here that will look pretty. And I found this old chair. I don't know where we got this old chair from, whether it was here. I really can't remember. But... Um, it's so beautiful, it's so ornate, the woodwork on it. I think it will go perfect in this room. As you can see, it's in really bad condition. There's a lot of um, yeah, moth holes and everything in it. And, uh, but it does still have the original horsehair, which is absolutely fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I've got a large piece of foam. I'm going to put a piece of foam on the, on the bottom of it. I'm going to leave the back because that's actually a really good nick. Um, but I'm going to cover it all and I found some really lovely green fabric that I'm going to cover it in which I think will go perfect with the room. Um, so I know that I haven't really got time for this but I'm going to try and give it a go. So um, fingers crossed I can get it done very quickly. Oh, wow. Now I've just found some even better fabric. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, I don't really go in the room though. Well, the greens do. I don't know. Maybe it does. Yeah, maybe it does. I think it does. I'm going to do it in this fabric. I think I've just about got enough. Let's see once the foam's on whether or not it will work. That's on the front. No, I have to go with my original plan, which is the green fabric, because that won't fit. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> okay, so it's Sunday. I don't know what time it is now. Probably lunch. Not time. now! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> um, we've called Stephen, bless his heart, on Easter Sunday to give us a hand because we are so up against it. I can't thank you enough. You're more than welcome. Um, sorry, Joe, if you're watching this, <laughs> taking your husband away on Easter Sunday. But um, so Steve is working on the kitchen area while Ted is out, um, I was going to say playing golf then. <laughs> Not really. He's out in the barn enjoying himself, <laughs> making things out of wood, his favourite pastime. So he's doing all the woodwork, Steve's here doing the tiling. Um, how's it going, Steve? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah, I just ran out of tiles, so I've got to run downstairs and get some more. Off you go. So, tiles are going up, um, just so you can see which tiles. We chose the same tiles as we've got into because we love them so much. Um, it really is all go here today. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's all hands to the deck and just trying to get things finished. So my sewing machine, so I'm just going to turn some lights on. My sewing machine in the other room is just going like the steam coming out of it, bless it. It's worked so well. But, so I want to show you my finished chair. Um, so I decided, sorry, I'm move, moving loads of crap out of the way. <laughs> Hoover. Um, so let me show you the chair. 
Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. So what I decided to do in the end is use the green fabric. But you know the lovely fabric that I found? I decided to do the arms out of it and then do some braiding that goes all the way around. So instead of putting like I normally do the um, taps, the ta taps, I don't know what they're called anyway, you know, the little um, metal things. Um, I decided to do some braiding and I just think it looks amazing. Um, we cannot remember where we got this chair from, but the state it was in, I would not have paid more than 25 euros for it. So um, I think from a 25 euro chair to this, I think it looks absolutely stunning. Let me just show you the back as well, because I've done the back on it. Oh, it's a bit dark, sorry. There you go. So yeah, I am so pleased with it. And I think sitting in the corner there with all the dark wood and everything, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So what you just saw was literally from the last time you saw us Thursday through to Sunday and a guest arrived on Monday to stay in the Jean-Pierre suite. We had two more days until our next lot of guests arrived to stay in the Chambre d'Arms. So you can see there is still a lot to do and too much to fit into one video. So you're gonna to have to come back next week to see the mad panic <laughs> that we had Ooh. on the Wednesday to get that room finished before our guests arrived and they arrived early. <laughs> they did. Can you believe it? And you see these shows and they say, oh, I've got to get this done before it comes. And you don't believe it, but believe it, it happens. <laughs> so come back next week to see all the befores and afters and the finished apartment and you will be amazed because I'm amazed. Well, I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's a tribute to everybody that's helped us and that's, you know, all you with your support and everything like that. But this lady, the amount of work she's put in, uh, you know, I take a little, bit of, a little bit of credit for it. You know, uh, 10, 12 uh, our days, as you'll see, longer days than that. Um, and it's, yeah, it's fantastic. And our friends and, and in all the support. Can't thank you enough. So we'll see you all next week for the final episode of Apartment 3. Take care. See you all soon, Have everyone. A good week and Take we'll care. See you next Love week. you all and thank you all for your support. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.
much more Someone to share my dreams, someone to find.